All right, all right. L D W M M A C. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. All right, guys. Ava Knight versus Emily King. Man, oh man, oh man. I know about Ava Knight because Ava Knight's a boxer. And you know, my channel was a boxing channel. Yeah, that's what it was. I gotta be honest with y'all. I didn't know a whole lot about Emily King. The only thing I knew is that she was three and three coming into this fight. But when it comes to women's MMA, okay, I'm not a fan of like uh, looking at a person's record. Because again, in women's MMA, if a fighter got a lot of losses, to me that just means they win a lot of rounds. Because, you know, women in women's MMA, you know, over 70% of the time they're going to go to distance. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, well, she's had some rounds. She's had a lot of rounds. Um, you know, I, I expected Ava Knight to come in and really try to keep the distance versus Emily King. But, no, to my surprise, it's not what happened. Uh, Emily King was able to close the distance fairly quickly, which I was shocked. I was very shocked. And she got Ava Knight to the ground very quickly. I was kind of shocked by that, too, because, you know, I consider Ava Knight's takedown defense decent, you know. Emily King had no problems getting this fight to the ground. And, you know, Emily King was transitioning from submission to submission attempt. And finally, you know, she got the back of Ava Knight. Uh, Ava Knight did everything she could to fight off the submission and the rear and choke. But, nah, she had it in deep, man. Emily King put Ava Knight to sleep. Ava Knight went to sleep. And, you know, I'm thinking, man, God, dog. Ava Knight just, you know, she fought the wrong game plan. At one point when they got to the ground, Ava Knight reversed it. And she was on top. And I knew that Ava Knight was going to stand back up. You know, I knew she was going to stand the fight back up. But Ava Knight didn't do that, okay? She didn't do any of that. Ava Knight, you know, tried to do some ground and pound. And I'm like, you know, this isn't very smart. This ain't very smart. Not for her. Considering, you know, if you're a boxer... And if you're coming into MMA, it's just not recommended that you try to, you know, keep the fight on the ground against a person who is legit in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, they'll break your arm. They'll put you to sleep. And I guess Ava Knight really couldn't see that. So Emily King was able to put her to sleep. It was a good win for Emily King. I mean, now she's like, what, four in the last four fights. She's four and three. And, you know, Ava Knight... Definitely, I think Ava, I think Ava got a lot of potential in MMA. You know, this is probably one of the one boxers that I think got, you know, pretty good potential in mixed martial arts. You know, but the wrestling and the jiu-jitsu, that's going to be a big, that's going to be huge. And, you know, if I was a boxer, I would start learning takedown defense and submission defense. Those would be the first things that I learned in mixed martial arts. Because if you're trying to break into it and if people know that that's what your forte is, they're not going to stand with you, okay? The first thing that they're going to do is they're going to put you in a clinch and they're going to do everything they can to take you to the ground, okay? And that's what happened in this situation right here. Uh, you know, Ava and I, you know, need to keep my head up and just keep working, you know? Um, I do think, though, there's going to be a, there's got to be a point in her career where, you know, she's training MMA. Like, if MMA is going to be the route and if that's what you're going to do, you got to train MMA more so than boxing because, you know, at the end of the day, um, people not going to stop trying. They're not going to stop trying to take you down. They're not going to stop trying to choke you out. They're not going to stop trying to do these things. OK. Um, and the majority of the people, they're not going to stand with you. So I, I think me, it'll be better. It'll be time better well spent, you know, for Ava Knight. Uh, Emily King's husband on the other end, her husband, he got knocked out. He got knocked the hell out. I'm telling my man, he got knocked out by a 39-year-old kickboxer. And I'm like, God, dog, what on God's green earth just happened? Could Emily King not have, like, just bad luck? You know, she lost her first three fights as a pro and then won her last four. And just when things started looking up with Emily King, her husband got knocked smooth, the PG. 13 out wow congrats to emily king for a very very good victory and much needed this is your boy coach shelton harrison i'm done what are you waiting on subscribe to the best women's mma platform on youtube